Okay, so I'm Matt Lighty, and this video is very fucking straightforward. It's going to tell you how to locate and identify Scourge bosses. There are three different Scourge bosses. We're going to go in order of just the order I found them, because I'm using clips from my stream. First up, we have uh, Gore the Gasping Maw. He is the big tentacle stomach guy. Wait, is that right? Yeah. He's the easiest to identify, I would say objectively, because in the Scourge area, you will see these giant purple orb looking things. They're very hard to miss. They'll be around the central fissure when you make a Scourge. Purple orb equals gore. This is also his identifying marker. You'll be able to see, and once you see it next to his name, it'll be on the map. Next one is probably the hardest one to identify. This is Katash, the Hate Shepherd. He looks like Asmodon. This is the pet for the 36 challenge. And his identifying marker is these meteors falling from the sky and hitting alongside the fissure. It's red, Scourge is red, it's kind of hard to see. If you pop your molten shell, it looks like the same fucking thing, kind of, so. You'll see it because of the meteors, but it's, even then, again, it's kind of hard to identify. He's the one that's hardest to identify. So, he's the one that, if you're going to miss any of them, he's the one you're going to be missing. Uh, but look for the meteors falling from the sky. Uh, the final one is Bidat, the Archangel of Death. Uh, the name kind of looks like Bidet, but not, so I'm saying Bidat, I guess. Hers is also extremely obvious. It is mass amounts of lightning striking all around the fissure. Very obvious. Depending on the map, again, the background could be maybe not the right contrast, but it's bright yellow, lightning crashing from the sky. I think it's pretty obvious. I'm also going to attach a clip before I fought her of an explanation about why and how I go about um, locating bosses if I identify there is one in the zone. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, why I'm not killing stuff in the Scourge area, is I've, since I've identified that there's a boss in the Scourge, which is indicated by the lightning strikes, um, I don't want to build my exposed meter very high because it's making the boss much, much, much more difficult. So what I'm basically doing is I'm just going to walk to the boss. Now that I know where she is, I want to find where she was. Now that I see where she is, I'm gonna, she's like on the other side of this pretty much. Um, so I can give myself as much opportunity as I can to kill her in case she's difficult or whatever. So I'm actually just gonna skip past a lot of stuff. I don't know how hard it's gonna be to fight her. So if I can um, do her with as much attempts as possible. I think she's around here. No, a little bit off to the side. Okay. She's up there, so I'm still, okay. She's up in that corner platform. That makes sense? Everyone understand why I'm doing this? She's right here. She's literally like right here. There she is. Now, I don't know if I can survive this. I, I can't tell you. Oh, God, she reaped the fuck out of me. But yeah, that wraps up the video. That's how you locate uh, and identify the three Scourge bosses uh, that can spawn starting from level 68. So tier two maps up to tier 19 maps. And uh, hope you enjoy Scourge League in this video. Someone helpful to you in identifying and locating Scourge bosses. Okay, bye-bye.